Okay, so Red Arc has launched a wiring kit for their BCDC kits. And this is to make it easier for you and for professional installers to put these kits in. And by the time this video comes out, these should be on the market. These kits will make it absolutely the easiest way to install a BCDC system into your own vehicle. These come with really heavy double shielded wires so you can run this on the outside of your vehicle is what I assume they did that for. And uh, it's all plug and play. All you need is an Allen wrench. I'm actually uh, thrilled to say that I helped Red Arc a little bit with this a couple years ago as they were developing these systems. And so it's cool that they sent me one to try out because what I'm doing today is I'm taking my 25 amp charger out of the FJ and I'm putting a 40 amp in. The reason for that is the 25 amp will keep up for most people, but in my situation, I'm charging a drone that takes 10 amps and I'm charging all sorts of camera equipment. And so I just wanted to step up a little bit and have a little bit more amperage uh, going into my battery. That way um, I can keep up with everything. My drone takes 10 amps while it's charging the batteries plus all of my other cameras and I've got so many things, my mics and all that. And so it all adds up pretty quick. So I'm going from a 25 amp to a 40 amp. So that extra 15 amps will basically make up for all of the camera equipment that I'm now running all of the time. I've always got stuff charging. So this is gonna help me out. The 25 amp system, I did a video on that a long time ago. And this is gonna be kind of an updated system on the same thing. For anybody that might be interested in this, uh, the 40 and the 25 do have the same housing, the same footprint. So if you were replacing one with the other, these will bolt up. I don't know if that applies to the 50 amp model. This is gonna give my battery that extra juice that it needs. And when I'm not charging stuff, it's gonna be stunning because the 25 amp already charges my lithium battery. I have a 50 amp hour lithium battery in the back. I can charge that thing from like 50% to 100% in less than an hour of driving or just idling for that matter. And so with the 40 amp, I'm probably gonna be able to charge that battery from like 0% all the way up to 100% in probably an hour, hour and a half, which is crazy because the battery packs, portable battery packs can't do that. A lot of the Goal Zero type battery packs, they can't charge very fast. And it's because of how they're designed. They're getting faster, but they're not 40 amps fast. This is insane. Most of those battery packs are like eight amps or something like that. Your refrigerator draws five. So your refrigerator runs 30 minutes out of every hour. So there's a huge deficiency there. You're not gonna catch up if you travel for long distances like I do and do long trips. So something like this for me is quite necessary and those battery packs just aren't there yet and they probably won't be for a while. So I'm gonna tear all of my wiring out and I'm gonna put the Red Arc wiring kit inside of it. And uh, I am stepping up to a 40 amp, so I was gonna have to get new wire anyway. And so um, we're gonna try this kit out and see how it goes, because it looks like it's pretty plug and play. So quality wiring, no matter where you find it, if you try to find it on Amazon, maybe you can find it cheap, but the chances are pretty high that you're gonna get some cheap wire that's probably not completely made out of copper. The team at Red Arc are experts at 12 volt systems for four wheel drives. And so you can trust that they picked out the right wiring. They're not skimping out on stuff. And so um, the heart of this system is this block right here. And this is where you'll connect your BCDC system to the wiring that they include in that package. And so instead of having to solder a bunch of wires, all you're doing is tightening down these with an Allen head and you're good to go. So I really like what they did here because this means that if you wanna add solar in the future or some sort of a power output or an extra battery, this will make it significantly easier than having to go through cut wires and uh, re-solder and do all that stuff. This comes with mounting hardware, which is really nice stainless steel stuff. This isn't gonna be a full on installation, but when I get to certain points of like doing the wiring, I will touch base on that and uh, go over some of that stuff with you guys. So I decided what I am gonna do, I have my demo model here. I was gonna keep my old 25 as a demo for a future video, but because Red Arc was cool enough to send me one, um, I'm gonna give away my old 25 amp charger. I don't know how I'm gonna give it away or what guidelines I'm gonna go off of. I'm still thinking about that, but stick around at the end of the video and I will have like a voiceover or something that explains how you can win it. It's not gonna be complicated. You're not gonna to have to share it to a million friends or anything like that, but uh, I am gonna give away one of these and I think they're $380 or something like that. So even though it will be used, these are pretty much indestructible units. Mine has not been in a high heat environment, so you can upgrade your vehicle for almost $400 cheaper just for sticking around to the end. So we'll get into that shortly. Red Arc does a very good job with their instruction manual. It is very easy to read. There's diagrams and stuff. It makes it easy for just about anybody to 
do all this and plug all this in. And something to note on this wiring kit, all the wires match with the BCDC system has. So you just have to match a blue to blue, brown to brown, red to red, that kind of thing. And it'll save you hundreds of dollars. I know you might look at some of these kits and you're like, that is really expensive try having it installed by a shop. Shops charge like $130 an hour. And so, um, and it doesn't, it's not a short ordeal, but with something like this, it makes it a lot less time and uh, you need very basic tools to do it. Two hours of shop time is probably gonna be about the cost of these wiring kits. I'm not entirely sure what the cost of the wiring kits are, but I'm just saying that I guarantee it's cheaper than going to an off-road shop and getting your truck in. And honestly, it'd probably take you two months just to get an appointment there. So let's dive into this. So I forgot to mention on some of these systems, you have to cross a certain wire for a certain battery profile like lithium versus AGM. And Red Arc has even included these little things where you, you just clamp it in. You don't even have to solder the smallest wire. You don't have to strip the wire and twist it together. Anything like that is a very, very simple system. So I just wanted to mention that. I do think we're gonna have to heat shrink one or two things, but I'm not even sure about that. So I decided to mount it right here. This is kind of the dog's area in the back of the FJ but she's never up against the back. She's almost always forward. And so this doesn't really get in her way. And I wanted it to be visible and I didn't want it to take up my stacking room because this little section here is where I have room to actually put stuff. So I'm gonna run this over um, amongst all of my wiring. My wiring looks horrible because I've added stuff after the fact. Rather than wiring the thing from the get-go, my needs have changed over time. So adding stuff in is always difficult and that's why I'm stoked about this thing that uh, this little box here that Red Arc includes with this package because this will take some of my problem with having to take things apart and resolder things to extend wires or add wires. You don't have to do that with a system like this. So I'm going to uh, wire that block in right there so I can run my grounds to a shunt and a shunt basically manages or uh, doesn't manage, but it pays attention to what the battery has coming in and out of it. That way I can keep an eye on my battery percentages. So I'm gonna do all that and this will be super simple. It's already way more simple than it was the first time that I did this. All right, so I am down to the final steps here. Um, there is enough battery cable, as you can see here, this has already ran and this will fit like a full size truck easily. That's a massive wire. So it's gonna be nice because I'll have some extra laying around for future projects. But um, so you, you don't have to worry about getting shorted on wire. So this little cap here makes it easy. You don't even have to solder anything. You just push your wires through this. And uh, anyway, I'm not gonna make you sit through and watch that, but what you do is you open this little clip section up, it clips open, you put your wires in, clip it, put it in, close it, and that part is done. There's no soldering, there's no messing around. I think a lot of people might be a little hesitant about doing something like this on their own, but this system really takes the work out of it. Because I had the other charger in here, I've already got the fuse mount under the hood. So all I need to do is pull out my 40 amp and put in a 60 amp fuse and I'm good to go. All you need to do is lay the wire on top of the fuse and uh, it bolts down with like, I think it's an eight millimeter nut. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up here pretty quick and we're gonna see how fast this thing charges. I'm very excited about this. I'm a little bit jittery because I drank so much coffee. Um, I have 10 feet of cable left after running from my starting battery all the way back to my auxiliary battery. So this will work for a full size truck going back to your battery or in a Tacoma, going back there, something like that. Um, this is the kit that you'll want for that. And I'm stoked because now I've got an extra section of wire for the new vehicle when it comes. And uh, I've got some extra parts left because I uh, chose to do things a different way and some of the stuff I didn't need because I've done this before. So um, I have extra parts, which is gonna be good because I will have another vehicle before too long and I will need to wire that stuff. This could not be a simpler install. Because I don't have a smart alternator, all I had to do with mine is basically block off the blue wire, attach these two, and then these all hook up. The brown goes to your auxiliary battery, the yellow is for solar if you're using that, and then uh, red goes to your starting battery, and black goes to ground, of course. So uh, it's a very simple installation, and this does work with AGM systems, and this does work with lithium. And uh, yeah, these are phenomenal battery chargers and I just started it up, everything works. On startup, I had 42 amps pumping into this thing. It's gonna vary just a little bit. And that's why with the 40 amp, they give you 60 amp fuses because it will go a little above 40. With the 25, you get a 40 amp fuse. You don't wanna pay for a shop to install it. This is gonna save you money because a shop is gonna charge you hourly rates and they're gonna charge you 
the cost of the wiring plus a markup most likely because they got to make money on stuff. So if you're a DIY type of person or you just want to do something like this, but you can't afford to have a shop install it, this is the way to go. That being said, shops will probably be interested in using these kits too because this probably saves labor time because it's all set up and ready to go for you. So I think even for the shop owners out there, you guys are gonna be attracted to this kit just because it's all gonna go together so easy that it's gonna save uh, shop labor time, it's gonna save your customer labor time probably. And uh, it's just nice that you don't have to do a lot of that. It's all color coded and it's red arc. So you know you're getting good wire and everything. I've got experience doing 12 volt wiring, but I think anybody can do this. This is very easy. There's no soldering anymore. It's color coded and you're good to go. And then you just start it up and uh, it starts charging that battery and it charges it incredibly fast. For those wondering, no, this isn't compatible with a system like a Goal Zero or something like that. Those are their own thing. You can't charge those as fast as you can just a standalone lithium battery. You can't do it. So um, what you do is you'd buy a, I recommend Battleborn batteries, and I will put the links for all this stuff below, of course. Uh, Battleborn batteries are awesome. They have the best BMS system, which is the battery management system. I use a 50 amp hour in here. I used to have two 100 amp hours in my uh, Conquer camper that I've recently sold. They're the best batteries on the market, in my opinion, and so I recommend going with that. You can go with whatever lithium battery you want, though. There are cheaper options out there, but just know that a lot of them are over promising what they're delivering. Anyway, uh, so that is the install and, oh yeah, the giveaway. So let's go over the giveaway before I let you go. So I'm gonna give away this 25 amp charger. It works perfectly fine. It's all wired up for a lithium battery. If you have a different battery, you gotta do is cut these two. You can find the manual online. Actually, I think I have the manual from my new one and it's uh, the same manual for both of them. So I will send this with a manual to you and what you have to do, I keep having to do retakes because I'm throttling on caffeine right now and I keep misspeaking. So to win the 25 amp charger, all you have to do is of course you have to be a subscriber or else you're eliminated from the whole thing. Be a subscriber, comment below, either in text or emoji, what we found on the beach in Baja and it's very, you'll find what I'm talking about. You just gotta scroll through the channel a little bit. And then on that video, comment Red Arc. And so that will uh, put you in the drawing. I don't have that many subscribers, so there might be five people that enter for this. There might be a hundred, I don't know. So anyway, I'm gonna send this to somebody free of charge. I'll pay shipping and everything. And uh, these things are bulletproof. This is gonna last forever. This was installed inside the vehicle, so it's never gotten overly hot or anything in the engine bay. This thing will last for years to come. So. I'm gonna send it to you for free. Subscribe, comment on this video, what we found on the beach in Baja, and on that video, comment Red Arc, and that'll help the channel out. And in exchange, somebody's gonna win one of these things and I will do the random giveaway. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time. The giveaway will be on March 10th, 2023. So this leaves you time before the spring equinox so you can get your truck set up for the season. Around that time, I'll announce the winner and I'll ship it out free of charge.